Many veterans, their service to others doesn't stop when they leave the military. Dennis Ting introduces us to two veterans in Elizabethtown looking to start a business and give back to others. These two friends have talked about opening a restaurant for a very long time now, and they want to do more than just serve food. These veterans say they want to give back to their community. Off busy Ring Road in Elizabethtown, you may see the sign up at the Pavilion Shopping Center, 94 Bravo Bistro. 94 Bravo is a food service specialist in the military, armed forces, and that's where we work. Behind the doors, Eddie Pelletier and Timothy Pruitt are racing against the clock, getting ready to open up their restaurant. The two men, National Guard veterans and friends for decades. We've known each other for 30 years. I mean, we're kind of married, you know, I, I guess. I moved out here from Oregon. It's the first friend I made. I'm still friends today. Yep. You even called me from Hawaii at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the two had spent years working together at a manufacturing plant in town when it offered voluntary layoffs earlier this year. And they did a workforce reduction, and I took the, the first one in January. And I had been pondering a couple things, you know, and then when Tim told me that he took his, I was like, you know what, I think it's time. The opportunity presented itself, and I jumped in both feet. 94 Bravo Bistro will sell sandwiches, soups, and burgers, which both Eddie and Tim promise will not be frozen or microwaved. For now, they'll only offer meals to go or through delivery. But beyond just promising good food, these veterans say they'll also be donating some of their revenue to help local veterans organizations. Being vets, I mean, that's... that's it's huge to us. Yeah, that's, that's close to us because, I mean, those are our brothers and sisters, even though we're not in anymore. The restaurant is expected to hold a soft opening this week with the grand opening coming on Monday. In Elizabethtown, Dennis Ding, WHAS 11 News.